All right, welcome to All I Must TV again. It's been a long while. I've been away for over 14 days, roughly two weeks now. Okay, uh, it's as a result of my uh, wedding preparation and uh, the ceremony itself. Okay, I just uh, got wedded. Ah, you can see this. Ah. All right, okay, I invited uh, some of you for my wedding ceremony, those within my environment, and you actually turned up. I'm grateful for your coming, for your support. Okay, thank you, thank you. I'm going to release a video to really appreciate uh, you guys for the turn up and the support you give to I and my wife. We are grateful, we are more than grateful. So to my subscribers, I want to say a very big thank you to you for being there all the time, despite the break we had for this period of time. You'll be there viewing our content and uh, we are grateful for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So we have a welcome back question, okay, a welcome back challenge. And the question is uh, a kind of simple, but without the use of calculator, how do you solve this? So the question reads, without calculator evaluate, your four truth, okay? The four truth of 9999 squared plus 19999. How do you solve this or how do you evaluate this without the use of the calculator? It's very simple. We're going to make use of some um, mathematical uh, manipulation here, okay, to enable us to solve this. In other words, whenever you see similar questions like this, you should approach it using the same approach there you get your uh, answer solved in no distant time now before we go into today's challenge if you're new to this channel this is online mass tv your favorite channel here we learn mathematics all the time okay so if you've not subscribed do well to subscribe and when you subscribe turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop amazing video like the one you're about to watch right now because at online mass tv we release wonderful videos with good approach well simplified approach okay so welcome on board let's go into today's challenge let's take our solution so we'll put down our solution good without the use of calculator what do we do here let's put that the question first so the fourth root of your nine 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 all squared plus your one nine 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 all right now look at what we're going to do here now it's very easy because we are having nine 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 here and here we are having one nine 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 what we do here is to separate this nine nine out because we are having a similarity here okay so i can rewrite this expression here now as your first root of nine is nine please nine um nine 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 squared plus your one zero 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 okay then plus yeah nine 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 let's cover this up now you discover that if we add this to this we're going to have this so this has not really changed anything okay so what do we do here look at what i want to do here now if i decide to put this and this in bracket then multiply this by one this has not changed anything because if you use one to multiply everything here it will still give you this good again here comes the manipulation i want to manipulate here now how do i bring this expression here now to give me one in this place so if i put in minus here then that will give me one in other word one zero 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 minus nine 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 that will give me one so let me bring something of this kind here so if i do that so go to have this expression to be the fourth root of your nine 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 squared plus what we have here one zero 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 plus 
Yo, nine, 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 close bracket, bracket, yo, one, zero, 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 minus, yo, nine, 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 close bracket. All right, now let's look at this together. If you subtract this from this, it will give you one. So if you use one to multiply this to this, it will still give you this. So this has not really changed anything in the system. All right, so from here, what do we do? Take a good look at the expression we have in here and here. They are the same. The only difference is that here we have a plus sign and here we have a minus sign. So quickly, what comes to mind? Difference of two square. Remember, we have your, if we have your uh, A plus B, close bracket, the bracket, a minus b close bracket this is equal to your a squared squared the minus b squared you remember this very easy so this is an identity that we've used in solving so many of our challenges okay now if you look at this now you discover that what we have here now from year to year is similar to what we have from year to year. So we can express this in this format. So let's go ahead and express the whole of this in this format. So automatically, this will give us here the fourth root. Let me still write this here. So we have here 9, 9, 9, 9 squared plus what is our a here? Our a is 10000. So we have here 10000 squared. Then minus, what is our b? Our b is 9999. So we have 9999. All right, let's erase all this. Okay, at this point. All right. So. Okay, here yeah, we have our square, please. Square. All right. So if you look at this, the game is now playing out. Very easy. So here you discover that here we have invisible plus 9999. And here we have visible minus 9999. So plus minus, we leave. So this, this will leave the system. We are left with this. So let's continue on this other side of the board. So this will now give us here the fourth root of 10000 squared. This is what we have left in the system. So we can rewrite this expression as bracket 10000 bracket all to the power of 1 all over 4. Then let's put this into our square bracket or squared. Now, remember the law of indices, which says that if you have your x to the power of, uh, let's say, mn, this is equal to your um, um, bracket, your x to the power of uh, m or n, or we can equally alternate this to give us your s to the power of n or into your m. You remember? So if we do that, we can use this to open up this. So if we open up this, this will give us 1, and here will give us 2. So our expression will automatically become your 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, all to the power of 1 all over 2. So this is square root. The square root of 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 will give us 100. So automatically, we now, this now implies that we have this to be 100. Very easy. Okay, so the simplification of this expression without the use of calculator will give us 100. All right, so this marks the end of this uh, simplification without the use of calculator. All right, and if you're new here, again, do not forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button. For our returning subscribers, we say we love you. We love you so much because you are always there. You've proven to us beyond reasonable doubt that you love Online Mass TV. You love Jakes. You love everything about Online Mass TV. Thank you for being there. And if you have a better way of solving this, drop it in the comment section below.
we are going to add reply to comments. Although for some time now, I have not been able to reply to uh, most of the comments because of uh, my wedding and some other projects. But yeah, we are back again. And we attend to every comment. So long it's from you, I'm going to give you a reply. All right. Thank you for always being there once again. I love you. And everyone at Online Mass TV loves you. Bye for now.